Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so welcome back. And uh, I wanted to kind of uh, kind of bring everything together uh, over the last couple of weeks. My videos seem to have been somewhat disjointed and kind of give you some updates, where I'm at, what I'm doing, what's happening on the channel. And uh, so in this video today, we're gonna talk about my trip down here to Pass Christian, Mississippi. I'm staying at an RPI park. And um, a little bit about some of the adventures that I've been having um, here uh, in uh, this location in Mississippi. First of all, the trip down to Mississippi was absolutely beautiful. Uh, traveling through the back roads uh, and the country roads from Tennessee all the way into Alabama and then into Meridia, I think it's Meridian, uh, Mississippi, where we stayed at a Walmart overnight. Now you gotta remember, we're a pretty big caravan. Uh, Mike uh, and Don have their big diesel pusher and of course, Mike is towing his 25 foot boat. So his presence on the road is enormous. And then uh, Don driving the truck and then I'm behind them in my F-250 and my 25 foot travel trailer. So uh, pulling off to get gas or to get a rest stop or anything is quite a feat and quite an adventure. But we had a communication source and uh, it was pretty, it was a pretty cool trip. Now, on the second day of the trip, I got really sick. And so I was so appreciative for Mike and Dawn uh, pulling over frequently um, and uh, really kind of uh, helping me get down here to Mississippi. Uh, you know, it's wonderful when you have such incredible friends. And you have to remember how I met Mike and Dawn. Um, Mike and Dawn were subscribers uh, that I met literally four years ago or five years ago. Um, they were uh, subscribers to my channel. They had been following all my adventures uh, from when I was uh, getting Myrtle. If you remember, if you've been a, a long time subscriber, you'll remember my class A Myrtle and all the different things that me and my dad were doing to get that RV ready to go on the road all the way up to the point where I actually launched into my full-time RV life. So uh, I met them at the Hilltop RV Park and since that date, we've become fast friends and we've done a lot of traveling together. So, and then when I bought the homestead uh, in Tennessee, Mike and Don frequently came up and spent some time there visiting on their travels as they were going back and forth either to Indiana or to Michigan. So it really has been an incredible friendship and uh, one that I value uh, more than I can even tell you. So to Mike and Don, you guys are amazing. I love you both to death. Thank you so much for being so gracious and such an amazing friend. I don't even consider them friends anymore, actually. They're they're like family. They are family. So, uh, and I look forward to future adventures with them, which I'm sure we'll have quite a few now that I'm back on the road uh, over the course of this uh, upcoming new year. Of course, most of you know that I am a digital nomad, so I do work from the road. And uh, I have a very involved full-time position, and so, I have to make sure that I have really reliable internet. And I gotta tell you, um, I originally signed up many, many years ago with Sprint in, uh, from a program called Unlimitedville, where I ended up getting an unlimited um, uh, hotspot from Sprint. And I gotta tell you something, that, that little Sprint hotspot works so well uh, in my early days of traveling. Of course, I always have a backup. I have two Verizon hotspots as well. And I don't know that they've been as reliable as my Sprint hotspot was. Well, a couple of years ago, as you know, T-Mobile acquired Sprint. And as a result, I have now switched over to T-Mobile for my business account, Paddy Wagon Travels. And so in this particular instance, I actually went with the T-Mobile home internet. Now it's a 5G internet and it's $50 a month for unlimited. So I've got to tell you, I've been in past Christian Mississippi now for just two weeks. And in those two weeks, I have worked reliably on that T-Mobile internet, and it has been truly amazing. So over the past couple of weeks, um, I've been hanging out a lot with Mike and Don, and we've been going on the boat and been doing some fun things. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple videos here of Mike taking us out to uh, Cat Island. Now Cat Island's about nine miles off the coast of Pass Christian, and it's an island that actually um, is off grid, particularly. And I've got to tell you, there's there's a couple big houses out there and it looks like these are, I don't want to call them party houses, but I would think that that's probably what they were, where people could actually rent um, the place for the weekend or for a couple hours, I suspect. They get in their boat, they take it out there, they can watch the games, they can you know, hang out. Um, so we drove out there to Cat Island 
And um, it was a pretty choppy day on the water, I've got to tell you. But I'm very happy to tell you I didn't get seasick. a brand new day and we'll be making history are you with me won't you stay we have come so far this is who we are and like the rising sun we have just begun to play our part this is the time we form the chorus lift your for those before us We can rely on one another Feel the pride, let's show down here and uh, what a beautiful location today uh, we're going to be doing some crabbing and um, Mike's just went to the local shrimper and bought some shrimp and so we're gonna have like a little mini crab fest um, I guess so uh, I hope you uh, hang out with us as we uh, figure this whole crabbing adventure out all right what you doing I and rigging some chicken wings inside a crab net. Chicken wings, they sure look good. Yeah, they do. It's a shame to throw them down in the water to catch crab, but I think crab are better. I think the crab tastes better than chicken wings too. Well, of course, it depends on how you cook the chicken wings. But well, that's, that's true. There's our net right there, all set up. How many nets do we have here? Uh, I've got four nets. And how many are we putting in the water? I think we're gonna put all four in. We're gonna put four nets in the water. Yep. All right, guys, here we are on the Pass Christian Pier, and that's where we got our shrimp, the shrimp lady. Yeah, our string is a little too short, so we're gonna have to put some new string on here to have them go down. Okay guys, right now we've got four pots down here crabbing. So we are officially crabbing. And hopefully I won't lose my phone in this beautiful water. Hopefully. All right guys, let's check this basket. I don't know if you can see that, but there's nothing in there but chicken leg. All right, back down it goes. Or chicken wing, anyway. All right, guys, as you can see, we didn't have much success. Uh, we didn't catch any crabs today. But the one thing that we do have out here, and I'm going to show you. There you go. I'm sorry, but you're hard-pressed to get this. I think obviously you can get this in Florida, maybe Hawaii and whatnot, but take a look at that sunset. Is that not gorgeous? Beautiful day. So it's been an amazing time here in Past Christian. Now I'll be leaving here uh, just after Thanksgiving and I'll be heading back to Tennessee for you know doctor's appointments and those types of things. Then after the holidays, I'm gonna be heading back out on the road. And so uh, I'm really excited about that adventure and I'll tell you more about that adventure in some upcoming videos. In the meantime, please make sure you stay tuned after the video for some bloopers. 
which you know how I am. There's always a ton of bloopers. Before I, I go, let me give you a quick tour of what my RV looks like all set up because I think the only time you've ever really seen my RV is when it's been parked in my driveway. So now that I'm living in it, I'll give you a, a, a quick tour of how this place looks when I'm actually living in it. All right, as you come into the front entrance of the RV, um, you'll see my clock there, unfortunately. I can't keep it up on the wall, it keeps falling off, but this is the front entrance and directly over to the right as you enter is the bedroom. And it's a very comfortable setup here. Um, the actual mattress that came with the um, RV, I have a three inch um, gel topper on it along with a mattress cover. And that seems to be pretty comfortable. I think in the future, I'll probably want to upgrade. They've got ample drawers and closet space here, which is really actually very nice. And then over here, we've got the uh, living room set up, which is very comfortable. You know, these chairs actually have um, heat and massage, and they also light up at uh, on the bottom here. If you just push this, and you can see the light that comes on. And that's nice, except for they're kind of a nuisance when you are you hit them accidentally. And then up over here is the refrigerator. I have a 12 volt uh, battery refrigerator, Furion. Now they said that these refrigerators give people a lot of trouble. I haven't really had any issues with it. Knock on wood. And then over here I have a, a full three burner range along with an oven and lots of drawers for storage and a microwave. As you can see here, I have my Verizon plugged in. And then over here is the kitchen. And nice counter space, which is really what sold me a lot in this RV was the, the rear kitchen and the counter space. And as I mentioned earlier, here is the T-Mobile hotspot right here. And uh, let's see, you can see I've got uh, three bars and uh, it sits right there. And it works amazing. Let's see, of course my coffee pot. And then again, drawers here, nice heating source. This heating source works really good. Under here is the hot water heater. And then up here we've got your typical pantry area, which actually has a lot of space, which is nice. And then right next to it, you've got a, I wanna call it a barn door, but it's an enclosed door that closes out for the bathroom. And then of course you have a nice, nice big shower and bathroom. And uh, no, I haven't taken out the dinette for those of you asking, because I know there's several of you that will ask, have you taken the dinette out? As you can see, this is my workspace here. So <laughs> no, I haven't taken the dinette out. And then up here, I've got a little entertainment center, which is where my Roku TV is. And of course over here is my panels, which um, shows you all the different statuses of my tanks, which my black tank should be empty but you know how that goes and that's it so here is a long view of uh, the RV there you go all right then this is the outside here I had to uh, refill the propane tank today so I got my propane tank refilled and then I had to do the tank so remember RV life you're out here doing your tanks and so I was able to get the tanks all taken care of today and flushed. And uh, that's all completed for the day. Of course, I'll be doing that all next week again when I get ready to go back to Tennessee. Uh, but you can see here, it's a very pretty park. You've got uh, big spaces. There's a lot of big spaces here, which is actually very nice. It is a uh, coast to coast and an RV uh, RPI park, so it is a, a specific um, membership park only. And um, with my thousand trails, I also get um, RPI, which is very nice. So here's a good picture. All right, that's my setup. All right, so I don't know if I ended the video or not, but if I didn't, Thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure that you subscribe. And I will see you guys again next Sunday. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we just checked the crab. <laughs> so let me show you a little bit. <laughs> so as we were traveling, 
Um, dang, it's hot in here. I can't. I got to turn the air off. I can't. I can't have the air on and video. It's so we got to Meridian, Mississippi. Oh, hi. <laughs> no, I'm videoing. Oh uh, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. I'll come out a little bit later. Okay. <laughs> 